Now I want to show you how to edit, add, and work your schedule via your mobile device for the schedule that's on the website. So once again, you're gonna to go to where you have your login bookmark to get VNN. And once you're on your dashboard, you're gonna scroll down to scheduler. Now at the beginning of the season, obviously you're not gonna have any games within your schedule. And so it's gonna be a, a blank canvas basically. So for example, let's go down to uh, boys JV football. So you'll select your sport that you're gonna do the schedule. This is what it looks like without any event added. You click add event and it's gonna walk you through the few steps. Home or away, let's just say it's away game. And the first game is gonna be September the 4th. The start time, let's just say it's 7 p.m. Event title, now this is for like senior night, homecoming, pink out, any theme night, any particular name for, for the game itself. Playoffs, round one. If it's just a regular old game, it's probably not gonna have a title for it. Conference, yes or no, same thing as region. Now, event location. A lot of the schools are in the system already from you or your fellow coaches. But basically, if you start typing, for example, if it's Johns Creek, you see there I click Johns Creek on the drop down box once you start typing it. If the school is not in it, for example, Denmark High School, brand new high school a couple of years ago. Somebody had to add it in the system the first time. So there's an add new location button. And basically you enter the name, address, and city, state. And once it's been put in, you're covered. So once the location's been set, in state or out of state, most times it's going to be in state. And all the opponents are definitely in there. So we just said that that was Etowah. And so you start typing Etowah and at what high school appears, and then you click save and add another. And then you can add your next game. And so you slowly build your schedule as you go uh, within, the, within the site itself. So let's go back to scheduler. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like once that game was added. And so let me scroll down to JV and I go to schedule. And so this is what it looks like once the game has been added. So if you need to delete or edit or change anything in a game, so it started raining right now, baseball game's canceled tonight, rescheduled for tomorrow, same time. What I can do is go in, find that game, and click Edit Event, and then merely you're going to change the date from the 4th to the 5th, same time, same everything else. Just make sure you click Save Changes, and now you've edited your schedule. If at the end of the season you make the playoffs and you need to add the playoff game, you simply, once again, click Add Event, walk you through the steps, and that event has been added. One other option to show you real quick is if a game was deleted, or excuse me, not deleted, but postponed or just canceled altogether, you can go in and mark that. Obviously, with the current situation, a lot, all the games are canceled. And so what I could do is go back in here to my schedule and instead of edit, there's a little drop down box here and I can mark it postponed or canceled. And I'm gonna say postponed and it's set. So on the schedule, that'll show that that event is postponed. So that's how you can add a schedule, edit the schedule and add another game at the end of the season or a game that's added throughout the season via your mobile device.